All right, welcome back everyone. For today, I figured we'd be playing Amnesia, which is yet another game, God damn it! which is yet another game that I've been meaning to play and has been on my list for a very long time, considerably. And I feel like I should do a little bit more horror for the channel, make it more fun and interesting because I love a good scare, but I don't like getting scared. If that makes any sense. Hard mode. Start a new game. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? Look, this is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Oh, Momentum has been added to your journal for quick access. Your momentos press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. And follow the liquid trail and find the source. Sounds like a good plan. Beat. There's a collapse here, it seems. Hey. Go in here. Thunderbox. I've tried playing this game before, but I uh, got stuck in a certain section, which I do not remember. Did I just hit that? Huh. Weird. Oh, look, a switch. Oh. Where am I? London? Is this what all castles in London look like? Oh, wait, hang on. There's a note. Come on. Go. I need something here. Use this. Wait, get... Really? Alright, fine then. Guess I can't unlock it. That is my loss. Like I'm not the only one lost in a castle. Oh god, my le my knees. Ah! Nothing. Tender box. 
Come on, Daniel, relax. I'm here with you. If I die, you die. And you don't want me to die. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily raise, rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy fought and struck his victim with a rock. Is there anything in here for me? How the hell is it raining? Ah, a little water to clean my face. Daniel, what the hell are you figuring out about now? Relax. It's not that serious, man. Oh, hey. I feel like we're going to need a lot of these. Can I stack these? I can. Turn to get the top? Nope. So, let's see what's ahead of us in this fresh hell. Nope, come back, come back, come back. Relax, Dan Dan Daniel, relax. Okay. Is there going to be like a notebook that reveals a secret passage? Scooby Doo. At least there's a tender box. Hey, a lantern. I don't think I'll need it. We'll save it for later. Hey, a weapon! Ready. I'm armed and dangerous. Oh. Okay, you know what? It's not even worth it. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Well, that's convenient. He's ready to try everything against the monster. That means I can't do shit. Come on. There we go. Secret passage. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in the stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. I have no idea where these quotes are from. But anyways, there we are in the main hall. And I... 
I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Um, I had something to do. I was trying to teach a friend. Oh, well. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Sorry about that. Now, uh, what I was trying to say is that I was trying to help a uh, friend with a glitch off of uh, Dead by Daylight. Space hag, to be exact. Because I made a post on Reddit and it got about 1.5 thousand views. Which I'm pretty happy about. Hey. Oh, y'all. Let's get out. Oh. A potion to make the lantern work again. I mean, I have en I have enough, but like, I think I'll just save it. Who knows? I might need it for later. It is tough and pliant. I can't be torn by hand or tools. Can I just can I just throw a rock at it? See, what's the what's the harm? Oh. It might be sentient. We do not notice. No, It'll take me some time to get in there. Ah, wait. It won't budge. Of course. Hey. I think there's an achievement to get all tinder boxes, which to me sounds very... Well, one, unfun, two, stressful. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights he fought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. I know how to pronounce the word, don't worry. I'm not that dumb. A little, but not all the way. Thunderbox. Crutch because I have good legs. And. I think we're good. Kind of legs. Nope. Mm hmm. Thunderbox saying nope. 16th of May. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this the one? No. This is the one. One of these random books. It's gotta be important to the lore. I can't just take every book out, can I? No, there's some books I can't.
There'll be a certain book I can just... Nope. Alright, fair enough, fine. Turn that on, just for safety. You didn't fuck up, don't worry. I'm not losing my mind. Here, just turn that one on. Do I? It's your pin piano music? I think I do. Oh, hello. I don't want to trap myself in. That would suck. Thought I heard some footsteps. What up? Hello? Listen, I'm losing my mind. I'm good. I'm good. Where you at? Ready to kick your ass? Hey, look, piano. Blueprints to something that's completely useless to me. Hey! That was the only way back. I do declare. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Ah, oh, the brightness. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Quite unfortunate. Anything in here? Anything useful? Yes, tender box. Can I just climb out? Freedom? No. No, I doubt it made the game way too easy. Or, well, hard, depending on how you think about it. Here, let's use this one thing of paper. Break it. Nope, okay, fine. How about we use this rock? Oh god! How strong am I? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, 
you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, neighbor Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale. Motives that keep reappearing. This is so much reading. Oh my god. Okay, if you guys want to pause and read it, by all means, go right ahead. Something came in here and broke in. I swear I can get in there. Just need to bust my way in there. Bring footsteps that are not mine. I don't know how to feel about that. Hey, bud. Let's lower the lantern for a bit. I think it's behind me, I can't tell. I already have the wine cellar key, I don't think there's a point to continuing staying in here. Maybe for lore, but that's about it. Desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. When the caravan moved, the land appeared motionless, but in camp, the hills moved. 